Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Now, in today's video, I have with me Nancy, who lives in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and we are filming in this amazing studio, 360 Powerhouse Entertainment in Oklahoma. And I just sort of took over their studio as I am prone to doing and Nancy agreed to model one of her dresses. We're actually gonna do two dresses for her and talk about how she feels in each dress. This particular dress is a single layer of mesh, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, and- Oh, I can't even pull it out and show. So it's just, so it's very see-through. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got a whole bunch of um, lace detailing on it, jewels. It looks like it's got some sapphire jewels, some crystal jewels, as well as crystal AB jewels. And a lot of golden shadows. Yep, and it does. A lot of golden shadow stones on it. Now, what's interesting about Nancy is that she says that she's made several of her dresses. This particular dress she did not make. It's a doré a doré dress. Um, this, this is a really quite a beautiful dress. The pale blue fringe is ever so slightly lighter than the lace on there. Let's go ahead and have you keep turning around, if you would, please. Now, this particular back, I really like for a lot of reasons. Let me have you turn a little bit more. This back is sexy yet conservative. So this is fantastic for, one, it's an easy back to make. There is no zipper. Nope, no zipper involved. There's just a few little hooks here. So as far as making the dress goes, or if you're having to alter a dress, this is a super easy fix if you do not know how to sew, but you need to change the shape of your back. The other thing is, let's see, if we pretend that this dress had sleeves on it, this would be a really beautiful back without showing a lot of skin, which is great for women who wish to be conservative. So this is really fantastic. Um, how do you get into this by yourself, Nancy? Um, I can do the bottom two hooks. Okay. And then I have to ask somebody to do the top two hooks. Okay, all right. So you just step in because it opens up enough that I can shimmy in. Right, and that actually seems to get your hair out of the way now that you're front. Now, do you have all of your, because you're really nice and trim, do you have all of your dresses sleeveless or was it just this particular one? Uh, no, I have a lot of sleeves because it's that age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, if I roll my arms <laughs> up, you don't see it as much. If I hold my arms down, you might want to cover it up. <laughs> And we've talked about sleeves a lot, right? So you have really beautiful tone arms. So I think you are actually perfectly fine going sleeveless. Um, however, some people, I have one lady who swears that she always wants to have mesh sleeves because she calls it pantyhose for the arms because it just sucks everything in. This dress would actually be a good candidate for adding sleeves. So theoretically, if Nancy sold this dress to someone, they could send it back to Doré. Doré could add some more mesh, mesh sleeves that match to add lace and stones, and bam, you have a new dress. Or it could be a with sleeves dress too. Take off the fringe. Uh huh. Uh, so you can tell Nancy makes her own dresses because she's always thinking design, and I love that aspect. In our sort of our pre-interview, we were talking about the differences in your two dresses because this one is a single layer. It feels very lightweight, except for the, as far as being supportive goes. And then the dress we're gonna interview later is a double layer, so it's thicker. Which do you prefer wearing? What's most comfortable for you? I don't know if that matters. I think that this is not as long term. I feel like it's gonna, it, it has more fall apart ability. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, so you would know so if this mesh starts going um, bad, I guess I could line it. Is that a thing to kind of preserve that part of it or? Um, that's a really good question. Mesh by nature is typically pretty durable, but the more things we put on it, the less um, uh, resilient it is, the less the lycra spandex, the stretch material in it can actually rebound. So it, it will, I mean, Nancy brings up a really great point. It really will eventually deteriorate. I it, found that mesh gets that, like, like old swimsuits have the elastic pops out. Yes. That's what I feel like um, mesh when it starts getting a lot of movement and everything kind of, that's what it does. So my double mm -hmm. layer 
stuff feels like it has more permanence and is more s stable. Okay. This feels more delicate. Okay. And, and I think it technically really is. But we'll, uh, you know, whenever you can see that video, I'll give you the link for that so that you can go compare Nancy in her two dresses. Nancy is sort of long and she looks very long, like she has long arms, long legs. So the really fun thing about this fringe is that it makes her look even taller. And I told her she didn't have to wear shoes. I'd go barefooted if I could, <laughs> but now we're the same height. <laughs> so if I were wearing the dress, someone shorter and a little wider, I would want this fringe at an angle or more jagged. But because Nancy is sort of a, um, a toothpick body in the sense that she looks long and lean, she can absolutely carry this skirt off. I love this neckline look. How does this feel comfort-wise? Uh, I think it's fine. I haven't actually competed in this dress Okay. Yet. This is its first time, so it's new. Oh, and very that's good. that's what we had, um, I had just asked my dance teacher if he thought it should be short a little shorter in the front yeah well and so. that's the cool thing about fringe is that which you probably know you can just go yeah. snip 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 and well, give it a haircut i didn't know if it if it was too long in front he said leave it for the moment so yeah there's and then tomorrow absolutely well and you could theoretically cut off two inches after every competition and by the time it's done have a skirt here and it feels like a new dress Overall, I think this is a really great dress on Nancy. There's one thing I would love to change on it. Did you have this dress custom made or was it off the rack? It was off so, the rack. so it was already ready made. Um, because she is long and lean, I really like the fact that this fringe sits low on her because it just sort of continues it. The one thing I would like to change, if I could have you turn sideways, I would love it if the skirt did not hug her tummy quite so much here. And I can stick this out more so we can see. <laughs> well, I can suck in. Right. It doesn't look as bad then, but then if I stick. Well, and that see, that's the thing is that as we're dancing, we're breathing, we're always, and as we're, the day goes on, typically our tummies get a little larger as the day goes on. We get more bloated and things. So that is really the only thing I would like to change. And she has such a tiny tummy, it's not even very much, but on women with bigger tummies, or if we're doing a really big breathing, then it's going to show more. Otherwise, I think this is a really gorgeous dress. One more turn around, if you would, please. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks to all the folks at 360 Entertainment Powerhouse for letting Nancy and I film here. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please leave a comment saying what's your favorite part of this dress. If you have not already done so, go to my website, sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address and I'll make sure you always get my blogs. Lastly, tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends, don't sew alone and don't choose your dress alone. So, thanks so much. I will see you another time.